Hi, um, welcome to my channel. I'm Debbie and I'm a LARPer. Um, I'm, I just thought I'd do a video um, to talk about something very important. Um, this is one of the first things I think that you should think about when starting LARPing. Um, if you know that you're definitely into the hot hobby, like after a few sessions or whatever, um, you can start thinking of getting other things to put on top of it. But the most important thing is your base layers. Now, this is a very basic base layer. It's just a very loose, blousy top. And then, literally, sweatpants. I mean, <laughs> you can't get much more basic than that. As long as they're not, they don't have a logo on them or something like that. Um, just don't wear jeans, obviously. Don't wear anything that looks modern. Nothing with a zip, preferably. Um, yeah, and you know, sweatpants, they're pretty easy to come by and um, very warm, comfortable. Um, sweatpants are pretty good for trousers. Um, tops wise, just get something loose fitting. Um, I got this one from a charity shop and it has like some details up here but you don't have to get anything fancy like that. Um, you could even, if you'd prefer not to go for separates, you could instead get yourself like a long tunic um, or a shorter one if you prefer. Um, this one is from Berg Schneider and then I uh, customised it with some bias tape around the edges. Um, so yeah, basically what you're going to do is you're going to have these as your base layers and um, you can even wear the same base layers when monstering, although um, if you're going to do that then I would recommend to wear a dark coloured shirt, not a white one like this one. Um, and then what you can do is gradually build up um, over the top of that so you can have things like you can have a like a tabard type thing um, like this one or you can have um, say for instance if you were gonna get one of these you could then layer this over it and have like a two-tone effect um, you could even layer a different skirt over the top, like one of these ones. Um, or you could take a short tunic and layer that over the top. And the more layers you have, the more kind of um, more realistic and more like clothing the costume will look. It will look less like a costume. Um, if you don't want to go for something too billowy um, for your underneath layer, you could, uh, and you know that you've got layers to put on top of it, you could go for just a turtleneck. These are really good for cold weather. Um, I wear this one for my character in Fools and Heroes. Um, and then a similar colour trouser. Um, these ones, these are just like basically like yoga pants type things. Um, and they're like a cotton, so they're a bit lighter than sweatpants would be. Um, sorry, I know the lighting is shocking in here. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, you can even, um, if you want to put some more detail on the top side of it, um, rather than putting extra skirts on, or if you think there's enough detail, or you don't want to have... Um, long skirts because in the forest you can get caught on branches and stuff. You could add details by, for instance, putting a hood on it, um, like this one. That I made in another video, which I will link in the description. This would just adds a lot of, um, you know, it makes it look like it's something that somebody would wear. Um, <laughs> to protect from the elements. Um, uh, you could, if you don't want to have a shorter hood, you could even um, 
either make yourself or buy a cloak like this one that I have. This one is floor length. Um, it's really good for uh, night time at a festival lot, for instance. Um, but yeah, the basics you should always think about first. So get yourself a decent top that can be worn with a lot of different things and layered, layer stuff on top of it. Get a decent pair of trousers that you know are going to be warm if it's if you're LARPing at a cold time or cool if it's uh, at a hot time of the year. Just make sure you get those basics first and then you can always build up on, other, on top of that. Um, this particular top, if you don't have anything else, just your top and trousers and you think this looks really bare, which it does, um, all you need to do is get yourself a decent belt, put a belt on and do, make sure you're doing it on your natural waist, not on your hip. And if you tie that around your waist, uh, do, 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 there you go. You can instantly, if I can get the thing through the loop, come on. Just one trick I, I use if you've got a lot of the end is just to tuck it in the top and pull it down. Instantly that looks more appropriate for like a medieval setting or a fantasy se setting. Um, so yeah, that's basically all, all you need to start with is your base layers. Don't worry about getting weapons if you're just starting out. Get, make sure you've got the got good footwear, very important also, good base layers, and then try and kind of layer on top of that if you want to make it a bit more in character. When you're just starting out, you're not sure whether it's a hobby that you're going to be, that's going to be for you. It's not for everybody. Um, so start off small and then build up off of it. Don't go out and buy a whole costume or make a whole costume um, and put loads of effort into something if you're not actually sure that you're going to like it. Um, so yeah, basically that's that's all I had for you. Oh yes, and one thing as well, you if you've got a few different base layers, um, different kinds of base layers, you can um, layer up more more base layers on top of each other. That's one other thing. So for instance. Um, if you've got something with really long sleeves, like to your wrist, I'll just show you how I've how I can layer these ones. Um, you can so you've got long sleeves first, so that's going to peek out at the end. Um, then you put something with slightly less long sleeves but where's the uh <laughs> where's the hole da, 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 da. and i'm gonna get so warm in a second from trying all this stuff on okay um so you put something else on top incidentally this um thing i'm putting on now i made this out of a bed sheet it's very easy to make um and it has long sleeves Obviously this is very square and boxy, um, but you can see the sleeve poking out at the end and you can gather your sleeves up like that and it kind of has a few more layers to it so it looks more like something a person would wear. Um, and then you could even take for instance this one which has even more detail on it and is a little bit shorter. Now this I would recommend doing in the colder months, not so much in the middle of summer because it's very hot. 
in the middle of summer maybe just layer a cardigan or a cloak or something or a tabard tabards are amazing so you see this has three different layers and just parts of it peeking out at the top and at the sleeves and because they're all different colours as well they really contrast with each other and then once you add a belt to that da, 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 you can see that it looks very much like something someone would actually wear rather than a costume um, I think I've talked I've spoken about this for long enough and um, at the so it's so that you don't become bored with how long this video is I think I will leave it there um, I hope some of this was useful to you and um, you enjoyed watching me play dress up <laughs> see you next time bye